Welcome to Florida's Real Estate Contracts. Uh, there are two contracts that are being primarily used in Florida, the standard contract and the as-is contract. In this video series, we will discuss the as-is contract that is primarily used in the uh, Bay Area and many, many other counties around the state of Florida. My name is Serge. This is Meg. She's an attorney, although she's not here to leave give legal advice. Right. Um, I studied finance and real estate and we've been in business for some time now, mm -hmm. seen quite a few things, uh, worked with other agents who unfortunately have never read the contract. So we figured that, you know, we need to make this series to help our future agents that we'll bring on board and also the general public and any other new agents out there who want to really dive in and learn and become masters of their trade. Yeah. Yeah. We were all new at one point in time. So we know that there's a fairly steep learn learning curve to the Florida contracts. And so we just wanted to put this information together for those of you out there who may be new to the industry and looking for a little bit more of a deep dive into some of the content of the contract. So we have two contracts in the state of Florida that have been reviewed and put together by the Florida Association of Realtors and the Florida Bar. And that those two contracts are the standard and the as is contract. And truth be told, uh, to get your real estate license in the state of Florida, you are not drilled on the questions regarding the contract. Nope. The uh, pretty much the, the exam and the education is to allow you to stay out of trouble and uh, protect clients' interests and so forth. But mm -hmm. nobody really sits down and goes through the contract. So we really hope that this is going to be beneficial to anyone who is going to be participating with us in watching the series. Yeah. So let's just talk on high level in terms of the um, times that we would use a standard contract and times that we would use an as-is contract. Now, sure. again, for the most part, we've been using as-is because it's very applicable, very flexible. Right. Right. Um, but just to observe on a high level, the standard contract, right? When would you use a standard contract? Well, I think you'd use a standard contract when you really want the parties to be solidly bought into the deal. Uh, the standard contract allows for an inspection, but it doesn't allow the buyer to cancel the contract due to the inspection results. Instead, it has predetermined amounts that the seller will pay to clear up certain inspection items. And those fall into three categories, uh, general repairs, wood destroying organisms, and permit related issues. And so if you've pre-negotiated all those things up front, then you already know the seller is just going to take care of those items up to the dollar limit that you've put in there. Uh, of course, if the dollar limits in and in practice will exceed the amounts agreed to, then the parties have to take next steps and determine how they're going to move forward. So we can give you a good example of that. Yeah. So for example, let's say we have negotiated the purchase price and we've negotiated the dollar amounts, or oftentimes there is a, a percentage amount of the purchase price that would be applied to the repairs, wood destroying organisms and uh, permits. Uh, and let's say we have agreed that there's going to be $3,000 uh, that would be used for the repair items. Now, what if the inspection report comes back with $10,000, right? One of two things can happen. A, the contract would get canceled by the buyer if they choose to do so, or the seller can opt in and do all of those necessary repairs and keep the buyer locked into the property and make sure that the closing happens. Now, my personal preference would be that if there is that much work to be done on the property, um, I would personally prefer to oversee the work myself. Uh, I would prefer to receive a credit in that amount and make sure I have the contractors and so forth that I can hire myself to make sure that the job gets done right. Uh, so this becomes a sticky point where how would one feel about going into a house right. that needed so much work? Yeah. Uh, with an as-is contract, you can walk away from yeah. that kind of a scenario. Yeah. So and in, in scenario A that he gave you that the buyer would cancel, that's not that the buyer cancels and get their, gets their deposit back. They're forfeiting their deposit if they want to cancel at that point. So can the buyer cancel technically? Sure. Um, the seller could try to enforce the contract, but most likely what's going to happen there is the buyer is going to forfeit their deposit. And in scenario B, where the seller makes the repairs, the seller can make the $3,000 worth of repairs, or the seller could make $5,000 worth of repairs. Let's say some of those items were going to be required for the 
property to pass a four point inspection. And without a four point, the buyer's not going to get financing. So then the seller says, okay, I'll go ahead and make some additional repairs. And they maybe make $5,000 in repairs. They can do that. Um, but that $3,000 that they've agreed to, the seller is going to go back to the buyer and say, here are quotes for the work that needs to be done. You tell me which three thousand dollars worth mm-hmm. of items you want done, and the seller does not have to spend a single dollar more. Uh, so it it is more of a locked in, potentially disadvantage disadvantageous position for the buyer to be in going down that path. And so the flexibility of the as is contract is really why it's come to dominate this Mm -hmm. Tampa Bay area. So you will find in other counties in the state of Florida that the standard contract is used and there are big benefits to it. But it's one of those things where you want to sit down with your clients when you first bring on a buyer or a seller and explain the two contracts and then talk to them a little bit about what is their appetite for negotiations? If they want it all to be done up front, then you might really want to go with the standard contract. Uh, whereas with the as is contract, it's all kind of in flux. Yeah, yeah. And there are also sellers who may prefer to receive an offer on a standard contract. Uh, most of the time, again, in the Bay Area, we see that the sellers are asking to receive an offer on an as is contract. Um, and you know, when in particular, let's say there was a thousand dollars worth of repairs that was agreed upon, right? And it's a condo new condo that just got built two years Mm -hmm. ago right that means that that thousand dollars will have to be spent by the seller doing the smallest tiniest little things right it could be an off-balanced fan or something uh, else in in the condo that just really is not significant to a five hundred thousand dollar purchase right but because a thousand dollars was agreed upon it just creates a lot of additional steps for someone to take to sell their property and sellers don't want to deal with that. So the as is contract, that flexibility to write an offer, go into the inspection period, which is again negotiated, but by default, it's usually about two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then the inspection report comes in and you as a buyer sitting with the client, you can sit down, look through everything and make a decision whether or not you want to move forward in the house or if you want to send a letter to the seller asking them for either a credit or to repair certain items. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you get to decide whether or not you want to continue through with the contract. Right. So you run the risk of the seller simply saying no. Uh, and then your buyer has fallen in love with the house and they thought that maybe they could get some things clawed back during the inspection period and the seller digs in their heels and says they're not willing to do anything. You run that risk. Um, But the buyer tends to have quite a bit of strength in those negotiations because once the seller's under contract, we do see there's there's emotional attachment on both sides um, for both parties to that deal happening. And so, you know, the great thing about real estate is that on some level, everybody's really working towards the same end goal, which is to see a successful closing. And so we have found that while those negotiations during the inspection period can be a little contentious, they tend to work out because everyone ultimately really wants to try to come to an agreement and move forward together. And if you can't, then the buyer can choose to walk away. And again, it's always been an investor's favorite. And we're certainly seeing with some of the I buyers out there that they're they're definitely going to use an as this contract because they haven't may not even have been through the home mm-hmm. when they provide an offer. You know, or if it's an out of state person, maybe they haven't, they're going to be in town next week, but they want to lock it in, but they need the out to walk away. So uh, we'll definitely dive into the nitty gritty details of the as is contract through this series. And we'll probably do one on the standard contract later mm-hmm. as well. Uh, but we look forward to walking you through the as is contract in the next few episodes yeah so coming up on the next episode we are going to have the contract up here it's not going to be very visible to you folks Mm -hmm. but we are going to have an attachment or link to a contract that you can just go ahead and print out or just follow along so you can see and read and that's the purpose here as we're going through i know we're going to talk a lot give some anecdotes but we really want to create an opportunity to where you actually you read things line by line and get very familiar with the contract because uh, again uh, you really want to be master of this domain uh, as an agent or if you're a buyer who is savvy enough that you want to go ahead and make your own purchase this may be very helpful but of course consult an attorney. Yeah. Thanks guys. We'll see you soon. See you soon.